Hello, welcome back to another video on ZS System 3, and today I got this big bad boy. It's a five way DVD slash CD player made by Sony. It came with the DVD remote, and so, yeah, I'm going to. It's actually really high quality, too. It weighs a ton. And, um, got it at Goodwill, of course. So, yeah, if you're looking for a DVD player and you don't mind having it be used, I would suggest that you just go to Goodwill and um, buy a used one if you're looking for a high-end one. So yes, that's what I'm uh, doing here. So yeah, time to replace the, um, uh, this old one. My mom just got at her work. Oh wait, this might be a time you guys get to see Sophie. Oh, uh, Sophie! Oh, look at her. Oh, she's such a fluffy poor boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah. Oh. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, just making a quick video. I really gotta get a second channel for these things where I literally drop it in the video and don't edit it out. But, yeah. Um, I'm going to be replacing the DVD player I have. So, yeah. So, uh, also, the next video, I'll keep... Well, keep a lookout for the next video because it may be on DVD stuff. Also, at the thrift store, all of that, I got some VHSs and this plastic wood grain holder. I've actually seen these in the past. I don't know why I have got haven't gotten them. I want to dedicate a whole shelf to these. So, yeah, that's also pretty cool. But, yeah, now i got to replace them. So, it won't be that hard compared to some other things in my setup. So, yeah. Okay. So, we are here at my setup. And... So, actually, normally I'd have my DVD player, um, like my old one, right sitting on top of it. But, since, you know, this thing is ginormous, the DVD player now goes under it. This thing's huge, and it has, like, three different outputs. Okay. So, first we have to watch the video. Okay. So, they have the power plug here. A lot longer than the other one. Time to run it back into the setup. Hopefully. Okay. Run it back. Okay. Um. Okay. So what we gotta do now is just wanna. Okay. I think I have an idea for the power for that. This is adding another plug to this. Yay. I'll have to get another one so I have, don't have three things in one of my switchable outlets. You can't even see us probably, but yeah, it made some of my voice really. Yeah, I'm just plugging in the uh, power. There we go. And now, we just plug in the back, which goes in like this. I wonder what the menu would be like also. Actually, I need to be able to see the back of this, so it's turning around. Um, okay, we got video, and then, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I probably will use HDMI at one point, but, you know, I'll probably have both, actually. Um, HDMI for personal use, I guess. And maybe if I really am doing a long episode on it. Yeah, I probably will do HDMI, to be honest. It'll look really nice. Way better than that piece of garbage other one I saw. Look at that. Nice and awesome gold. Look at that DVD player. Gold logo. Oh yeah, the DVD. Yeah. There we go. What do you think about that entertainment center? Also the Xbox one over there for Blu-rays. So, yeah. No time to uh, hook it up. Okay. Let's boot her up. Come on, remote. You can work. Oh, it's not powered on, of course. Let's boot her up. Oh, it's on. It's on. It says welcome. Uh, you probably would have paid a lot of money for this. I would say back in the yeah, back in the day. So let's just uh, turn on the switch boxes. Turn on that, and it should go up there. Come on. You can do it. Um, let's try that. Oh, there we go. It actually might be widescreen. Yeah, it probably is. 
So actually, we are going to turn on my modern TV, see how good it looks. It'll probably look a lot better on, um, you know, HDMI. I'll show that right after. Yes, doesn't look the best on composite, but that's why it's HDMI. So let's get the tripod out and show it. Actually, no, I'm going to record it with the, you know, no, 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 I want you to hear my audio. Okay, look at this. I'm actually going to use the remote. Yeah, I had, I had the remote. That's a big reason why I got it. Because, you know, I was using this to play the games. So, uh, let's see. Open. Whoa, look at that. The screen also changed. Let's first put in... Oh, wait. It's actually... Oh, no. The DVD player in the old player. Oh, no. Gotta get it out. Shrek uh, has a questionable question thingy. Um, it's like a watch the movie a million times and answer these questions and if you saw the review you'd know it's really bad so let's just turn this thing on i don't even need the remote turn it on and eject nobody cares about you just open up yeah this thing's really bad made by on with two ends um yeah i think a walmart brand really yeah we got L, and then we go to disc two. Oh, look at that. Oh, wait, wait, okay. Open. Oh, and then it shows a different one, okay. Mm -hmm. So we have Elf, and now we put in Shrek disc one. And then I think um, we can do this to move. No, wait, uh, uh, let's see here, let's look at the remote, it says, uh, hmm, did this work? No, hmm, is that a turn? No, uh, whatever, let's just, can, is that do it? How does it work? Okay, let's try disc three. And open it again, I guess, I assume. I don't know. I gotta look into this. It doesn't come with a manual or anything. Oh, no, it opened up to that. Okay. <sighs> There's no manual. What the heck? Okay. Um, that. 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 Return. It seemed like it'd be returned because that shows DVDs. Yeah. Uh, previous? No. Nick? That, that, that. Uh. Oh dear. Can I just slide it in here? I guess that'll do for now until I can figure it out. So I watched, actually watched some stuff on that. Now I can put these DVDs not just up in here, but actually with all the other ones. So, old one out and new one in. And also this controller is a lot more substantial and better feeling than this little thing. Yeah. Oh yeah, also on my thrift store run, uh, we may or may not have found some weird Wii accessories. Like these are the only ones that work. You basically swap them around. I'm not sure what the point of the handle is. I guess just for show when you're not using it. And then um, this here is, uh, these are some Nerf ones, which I don't have the attachment for, but hey, I got them because they're in a bundle. So yeah, and I also got some VHSs in that. But yeah, um, there it is. It is working. Let's just go to the uh, menu here. Menu. Oh boy. Uh. Oh, here, come in. Where's the menu? Um. Menu. There we go. Menu. Menu. 
Okay, wait, give me a moment to figure this out. Well, I couldn't figure out the menu, but I'll probably figure it out later before I do the um, video. Um, this is, you know, it has a bunch of buttons in it. But I also found this menu here, and um, yeah, it doesn't work if you point it at the TV. It'd be cool, that'd be a cool feature. But yeah, it can apparently repeat uh, a parental control setup, I guess. I don't know, that's just how long it's been on. Well, this is way better than the other one. You can pick the chapters, title, just the disc in general. You can do all this stuff. You can, like, you can literally select the disc like this. Uh, let's say I want to go to disc one. Enter. Would, would, would go to, I don't even know if there's anything in disc one slot. Oh, here's some things there, but... Yeah, and I would be capturing it, but... I don't feel like editing too much. Come on. Is there nothing on disc one? Okay. Let's go to the menu again. Uh, uh, let's try disc three. Is there anything on disc three? You know, you know, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to make this whole thing about the DVD player, but you get it. It's pretty complicated, pretty professional, pretty awesome. Um powered off yeah it's really nice nice addition let's just slip that right there and, yeah now i'd like to put my attention on to over that shelf right there um i uh have been wanting to move those boxes onto the gray shelf upstairs in the uh you know, place where I fix stuff, slash, uh, studio. And so, I think I'm going to just lock that in place. Oh boy. Oh boy. Come on. Um, this thing right here, and then put it on one of those shelves with the VHSs in it, and, um, just keep adding these into that one shelf until I have enough to fill up the whole shelf. So that's what I'll do. Yeah. Yeah, just, let's just first look at this thing. Like, so it already looks pretty good, but yeah, just, just be, if you're wondering about it, it's basically just wood green everywhere and then just these nice looking um, handle thingies, the little thing at the bottom to pull. I don't know. Yeah, and then basically it's just, these are the VHSs I got um, when I was at the thrift store. Uh, but, um, yeah, this is basically how it works. It's just a drawer with spaces to put the VHSs. So, yeah, in case you're wondering. And, yeah, like I said before, I'm actually planning to get, I don't know, more of these in the future. Because I think they are pretty cool and great for storing VHSs for someone who collects them like me. Also, come on, get, get out there. There we go. Yeah. This thing can only fit standard VHSs, and like you may think, oh, well, so this one has a tiny little plastic cover around it. That shouldn't be too bad. But nope, can't even fit in one thing just because of that. So you know, waste a few spaces. So this can really only hold these and standard ones, but that's fine. So there's more space and just looks really cool. It's definitely worth it. I tend to put it there that back up there, and the Atari 2600 back on the Zenith. I've run into a problem. If I put the uh, uh, old shoe stand thingy uh, that holds a lot of my portable consoles up here, as you can see, just put this on the tripod there, it won't fit on top of 
here. And it's also too wide, therefore it also won't work. Um, yeah, so I think I might have to actually put this sideways and we'll see how that goes. Okay, so as you can see, I have this all sorted out. Nintendo Labos are up there, but um, now I just have to move these boxes and such um, upstairs. And you may be wondering what I'm going to do with these um, weird. Oh, my dogs are barking! Isn't that fun? Um, weird Wii remote attachments, two of which I can't even use. Uh, well, actually, it probably doesn't really matter, though, because, like, this is we just a weirder version and a Nerf version of that, and then this is just a weird Nerf version of that with soft plastic. Oh, and a fight sound, of course. So I think those would just go on top of the 13 Dead End Drive board game. And as for these two, I will, I think I would kind of want to hang them up, actually. Like, uh, you know, some tacks, like, uh, for now, uh, I don't know what I'll do for now, but yeah, for now, before I do that, I think I'll just uh, put them in the controller thing. And there's also one last thing I don't get, like why this thing has a handle. Like, why would I have a handle that you can put on when you're not using it? I guess for all for little kids. I, I don't know, but yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do with those. And I'll probably just, uh, clean up all this off camera or time lapse or whatever. So... Yes, I guess I'll see you guys later, and goodbye. Minecraft Let's Play.